Hello guys, not to Ace here, and uh, just like I said in my MMG quick vlog video about Nintendo Select once again for the second time in 2016. This is an in-depth look, my thoughts on the Nintendo Select. And for people who don't know what Nintendo Select is, it's basically Nintendo games, good games, becoming twenty dollars from here on out. So say if someone couldn't afford the full price, they wanted to try this game, here's their second chance. And I'm gonna assume that it's gonna be the same thing as Platinum Hits or Greatest Hit. For Greatest Hit, it's basically the rule is it has to sell one million copy worldwide. That's technically worldwide or maybe region, I think it's worldwide. And then once that happens, it's up, if it's a first party game, or yeah, even when it's first party, third party, it depends. It's up to the company to say, yeah, from here on out, we'll sell it cheap, twenty dollars. And of course, PS3 finally they had the greatest sets. There's some coming out. Uh, Xbox 360, same deal. And you say, what about PS4, or Xbox One? Well, they're, they're still new you still got away. In the case for Nintendo, remember in March 2017, they shifted to NX. And I'm guessing that the Legend of Zelda uh, Breath of the Wild for the Wii U will be the last one and they're gonna move on. Sadly, but you gotta admit it, the Nintendo Wii U didn't really, wasn't really that successful, didn't really sell a lot, Barely made 12 million as of right now. A lot of mistakes happen. I have already explained it in my previous vlog about it. If you want to know, if I remember, links on the description box. So with that, basically, I'm in the website, basically about Nintendo Select. So of course, the motto say Nintendo Select, great games at a great price, only 19.99 MSRP. Basically. What it means is manufacturer suggestion repo price. It's basically when the manufacturer themselves they'll suggest to any company or retailer this is, this is the price we should do it. Whether you have to agree or not, that's um, up to you, but that's a different story. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. <coughs> SNK Play More didn't really work. PS2 era, I already told my story about it. So, with that, let's just move on. We're gonna go scroll down here. So of course, uh, let's see. There we go. They're showing some new games now. One of the newest ones, The Legend of Zelda: Wind Waker HD, from 50 bucks to 20. Lego City Undercover. Uh, and, and like I said in my quick thoughts, I tried to buy it used in the store, didn't really work. But now finally I can get it new for 20 bucks, happy days, Animal Crossing New Leaf. I think it was 2014, no that's actually 2013, Tamodachi was 2014, and now they're both $20. And of course, Luigi's Mansion, Dark Moon, that's the, the real title, I apologize for the mistake in my previous one, like I said it was shooting from the hip, so really. <laughs> Didn't really know, so my apologies. But yeah, Luigi's Mansion, Dark Moon, it's sort of another rare one. My local Best Buy did have some of them. Don't know why, but yeah, it's a good game. So we're gonna move on. So basically, now here, fantastic game, only $19.99 each. That's what it is. Good game for cheap price, but then people will buy it. They'll say, oh wow, there's this good game. There you go. Alright, some of Nintendo's biggest hits are now available at a suggested retail price of only $19.99. Each, from The Legend of Zelda, The Green Waker HD, to Animal Crossing New Leaf, your essential Nintendo game collection starts here. Like I said, game, cheap, people will buy them. I know you'll say, well, that doesn't justify the development. That's why good old games equals money. You're doing the Evergreen system, Chances are, I'm sorry, those games are probably just going to collect dust. So, I know it takes a long while, but at least it's better to late than never. So, 
again. Same deal if you notice. Red with the Nintendo Select logo. Pretty sweet. So with that, we're gonna start with the 3DS. So the first one here is Animal Crossing New Leaf. Yes, it was $199 I think last year. Now it's $19.99. Effective 20 um, August 20 August 20 the 26 2016 mark your calendar there so right now don't buy any Nintendo games until the 26th of August it's not that long so relax so of course Animal you leave one of the good games you're the mayor of the game spoiler and I have to say you know I played the game pretty fun kind of bummer that there's no virtual console in in game like like NES in the game I mean the director basically said the reason why they didn't do it is that the upper management wouldn't really allow it because of the virtual console kind of stupid in my opinion they should have some like the GameCube version or heck even in Japan the N64 version but whatever again fun game and not only that now coming this September Animal Crossing New Leaf will have a new major update and it will have Amiibo feature. That means your Animal Crossing cards or your Animal Crossing Amiibo, you can use them. From what I heard, the card says if you have a certain animal you want to be in your town, scan that in. Chances are they might go vis might visit your, visit your town and even better, stay decide to move in again. We'll see what happened. So finally, Animal Crossing New Leaf. Interesting new update. I'm gonna give my in more in-depth thoughts on that one because if they can do something like this, they could probably do it to other older games. We'll see, but again, I yeah, it's a good game. There you go. So the next one is Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon, the sequel to of course Luigi's Mansion. Part of the year of Luigi sad promo but the game itself is really good I played it if you if you enjoy Luigi's Mansion from the GameCube this is even much better more challenging it's really awesome good move finally because for a while you couldn't really find this game in a GameStop they were selling it for $39.99 used because it, at the time it was quote unquote discontinued item now not anymore because they're making a comeback of course, from the from March, Ocarina Time 3D, same deal in the past. People didn't know, like, what the heck? How come you can't see the game? Now, Nintendo Select, $20. Awesome. Bought that for $20. Yeah, for the other two, I bought them in a sale, so there you go. Just playing in a. Ah, Tomodachi Life, another one. Basically, a, sort of the original OG Mitomo. For the 3DS doesn't really have online features to some extent Street Pass yeah it's a weird game but it is very something unique and different you should try it out now yeah I got this one for 30 bucks because it was on sale now $20 so basically sweet again you know good recommendation for me it is a different game it's you so the question is there some sort of like Actiony or it's a mini game in its uh, mini game sort of, but again it's about you're basically what you need to help people in that in town, and the, the more you help them, the better your status. I think that's what it is. It's a unique game. You know, now it's twenty dollars. Try it out. It's pretty good. Hey, you never know. Maybe there'll be a. Maybe there'll be an amiibo feature in the long run. We'll see. Alright, for 20 bucks now, Lego City Undercover. Chase Begin. I actually got this one for 15 bucks. It's not a bad game. It's a prequel to Lego, the, the Wii, Wii U version. So, basically, it's sort of a GTA with Legos. A lot of collectible, of course, like Legos. So if you like Legos, you're gonna love this game. So think of it as GTA for kids with Lego. My surprise really is is that the Lego Dimension for the Wii U exclusive. Why didn't they put this guy uh, Chase McCain on Lego Dimension for the Wii U version? 
that would even make sense and then people might say oh there's an exclusive character for the Nintendo version there you go Chase McCain don't know but again okay game if you're into Legos and GTA that's what it is so of course the next one is Nintendo and plus cat <sighs> One of the launch game for the 3DS. I played the first one, it was fun. For 50, 40 bucks for this game, I don't think it's, it's not really worth 40 bucks in my opinion. However, $20, most definitely. I got on a Black Friday for 15 bucks. Again, if you like dogs, you like cats, that's basically the same thing as Nintendo Dogs, but with more features in it. That's really it. So it's basically taking care of a virtual pet. And of course, if you put it in your 3DS, you can also do like a... Uh, you can do like a actual like reality walk. What I mean by that is, there's a mode where you take your dog, walk your dog for a walk, you close your 3DS sleep mode, carry it around, and then once you're done, you open it. It depends on how many steps you get something out of it. Plus, your dog, believe it or not, and here's a spoiler, actually gets, let's just say, fit. They'll get fit. The point is, in other words, if you put them in a the competition, they're actually, when they run, they get fast. That's just a spoiler tip for me from you, so there you go. Good game, $40, <coughs> not so much. 20 definitely. Donkey Kong Returns 3D, in the conversion of the Wii version, $20. This was from, again, the one from March. So if you like Donkey Kong Country, Return is going to be for the 3DS. Better, much easier than the one from the Wii version. And then another one, Mario Party Island Tour. If you like the Mario Party game, here it is. Uh, yeah, if you like Mario Party, again, $20. It's not worth $40. Same thing with, well, this was 29 to begin with. But yeah, $40 for this game, no. I got it for 20 Again, good game if you just want to relax, have fun. But yeah, but if you, it's, just, it's not really for everyone. Like, party game, tour game, there it is. Uh, excuse me. So, then, new Yoshi Island. Got it for 20 bucks also. At one point, let's just say I return the Lego game and replace it with this one. Ah, yeah. But again, if you like the Yoshi Island game, there it is, third one. Not as easy from what I heard. I did, I did play it for a while. Might go back to it in the long run, but yeah. I mean, it's a fun game. Definitely, it's a fun game if you're a Yoshi Island fan. Alright, this was interesting, a third party game, Disney, Frozen, all of Squares. So I guess a lot of Frozen fans probably bought this game from $30 to $20 now. So I, this one I never had because they really didn't know there was a third party. Uh, surprisingly. So for this one, I can't really give my opinion, but if someone probably played it and it be, a lot of people bought it because it's good, it might be good. Because again, you know, Nintendo Select. Alright, so moving from there is three new Wii U games for $20. First one is The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker HD for $50. Already now, $20. Mine, I got it digitally when I bought Mario Kart 8, if you know that promo. I did talk about it before. There you go. If you like the Toon Link style, if you like sailing around the water. There you go, for now $20, sweet. Super Mario 3D World. This is interesting, and this was also from March. This game became 20, yet Super Mario 3D Land is still full price. That's what I'm trying to say, sorry about that. Kinda weird, I heard this game didn't really sell when it first launched, but again, now people can have a chance. Fun game, 
four player mode not so much just saying and here's the game that I was saying Lego City Undercover I bought this game used because I didn't know if Nintendo was going to re-release this game finally they did thank you Nintendo thank you Kimishima finally now I can finally get this game sweet just awesome finally now I can have a chance to play it I started the 3DS one now I start to continue the story with Lego City Undercover so but again for everyone if you're a Lego fan and you like GTA this is my game you know for kids I'm still wondering why this guy is not on Lego Dimension alright so moving on is Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze 20 bucks I, I got it for free because so Club Nintendo much easier than the Wii the first game maybe also the 3DS one but it's still challenging I can tell you that from there and this is the third game that I forgot to mention on my previous my quick vlog Nintendo Land and I did mention this already before thanks to Nintendo Go Nintendo basically announcing that hey you know Best Buy right now they were having Nintendo like for 20 bucks got it for 20 bucks now it is 20 bucks this is what's the first game that not even a year went down in price it was from $60 to $30 and why is that who the heck will pay a $60 tech demo for the Wii U no one that's why it went $30 but people said it cost a lot of money <coughs> and now there you go $20 good move so sweet good choice uh, another one from March Pikmin Pik Pik 3 good game if you like Pikmin people thought it was gonna be like you can't find this game anymore if you didn't buy it the first print and that's it again Nintendo was listening Kinishin was listening Pikmin 3 you can get it $20 here's your chance happy days because for a while people were selling this game like more than $60 like oh heck no and of course same one NES Remix fun quick game now it's $20 I'll get out for the Wii this was from March I'm surprised there's no new announcement for Wii game I don't know why but we'll just make this quick since and then again the reason is the Wii U is backwards compatible Let's play Wii game Okay, Super Mario Galaxy 2. Enough said, good game. Animal Crossing, City Fox has online. Sadly, Wi Fi connection is no more. So, would you buy this? If you want a Wii or a console version of Animal Crossing, but I would just go with New Leaf. <coughs> Excuse me. Same go, Donkey Kong Country in Returns. The original version very hard but very fun super mario also are basically a celebration of the 25th anniversary of mario i got the collector's one with the book again here's your chance to the game itself for 120 dollars and those are the so far for 2016 the nintendo select why did they do this? Because NX coming out next year <laughs> and I'm just guessing that hey you know here's your chance to buy the Wii U the last year to sell Wii U until they'll discontinue it so that's an intense like that's awesome so what we're gonna I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go go to a different section of Nintendo's website and announce two new things and I didn't mention it in the and uh, da, 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 my quick one first of all is the another new 3DS not the XL the original that you can change cover the new Super Mario 3D Land version for $150 $150 you get to cover and a pre-installed of Super Mario 3D Land so there you go here's your chance if you want the one that changes cover, there you go. So let's see. Alright, so that's the only picture here. I don't know why, but 
Well, what I'm gonna do is just give me a sec here. Uh... There you go. So, what you're seeing here right now is basically another picture, a graphic picture. You see this in Facebook and Twitter. And again, like I said, the new second batch of Nintendo Select games. Nintendo and Cat retrieve, retrieve Golden Retriever version. I'm surprised because there's a fresh bulldog in the poodle. I guess from what I heard, the Golden Retriever was the most popular one. Kind of makes sense. Animal Crossing New Leaf, Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon, Tomodachi Live, Lego City, The Chase Begins. Lego City Undercover, Nintendo Land, and The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker HD. So then the next one is Super Mario 3D Land, the new 3DS version. You get two cover, one is Mario and the other one is and the Mario Maker, I guess, with all the characters from the Super Smash Brothers. And then of course I'm gonna change this the cover, not the big one, $150. So if you don't care about the big screen, here we go. Excuse me, and here is something new starting September the 6th or the 9th, I could be wrong. 40 bucks. They're re-releasing some of their amiibo package thing. They've done this before. Well, for two out of the three games. Yoshi Wood World came in with the green Yoshi, the green yarn Yoshi. Now you can either get it with the blue or the pink. So they're giving you option. And if for Mario Party 10, interesting, it's only either Peach or Bowser. I'm not. I'm surprised why not Luigi or Yoshi. Well, I can understand Yoshi because you have the Woody World Yoshi, so that kind of makes sense. Luigi. Okay, I don't know why not Luigi because the original version for Mario Party 10 Amiibo bundle was with Mario for a while. Me, I bought Mario Party at twenty dollars without the bundle thing, but Mario it was cheap, eight bucks at Walmart. And then, of course, I mentioned it before in another vlog with my Yon Yoshi unboxing. The Yoshi game, the Yoshi itself, no, I think it's in cheap now for a GameStop, but for other places, it's still normal price. But you can probably, you probably can get it cheap on Amazon. But the game itself now also is becoming cheap. Dirty box stops, but there you go, ten dollars more. You can get a Yon Yoshi. I can understand now why. That's why I'm noticing why the green one in GameStop was they're selling for the box. Now I can understand because you can either get also the blue or the pink. And then the new bundle that should have, well, I guess not. It was in Europe, but now finally in America, it's the Captain Toad Treasure Tracker Amiibo bundle. You get, of course, Toad. Right here, Toad. You finally get Toad as uh, Amiibo. That's with the game. Because remember, not only Toad is it able to work at Mario 10 or Tennis or Paper Jam, Toad exclusively works to add a new mode for Captain Toad's Treasure Tracker. Again, fun game. It's a spin-off to Super Mario 3D World. Like, remember the mini game now became a full game. There you go. So again, there you go. Starting with August 2016, they're releasing the new bundle for the new 3DS, the small one. New Nintendo Selects coming, and of course in September, new Amiibo bundle for 40 bucks, really cheap. Again, hopefully this will make Nintendo fans go back to some extent. We'll see. Again, Kishima doing a good job. He is doing the opposite of what the lady one of us doing. I hopefully, hopefully they'll keep doing more to 2017 and don't do the evergreen strategy because that doesn't work anymore nobody likes it people get upset about it so with that that's my in-depth thought of the whole 
Nintendo Select, the new 3DS, and the new Amiibo bundle. So with that, thanks for listening, and thanks for watching.